so since I made that last video on the, the, the new 6.0, I've had a lot of people ask about the Solo Extreme and, and if, you know, how it sh looks and how it shoots. Um, I got one uh, the other day. So I, I'm not really, I, I was never really a big fan of the Solos because they were kind of the entry level cameras. Uh, so I've never owned a Solo, uh, but I, do, I did get a Solo Extreme for a couple reasons, a couple things about them I like. The 6.0 image stabilization is, that software is in here too, so the image stabilization on this is, is great. Um, another cool feature is it has a removable lens, so you can take this lens, this actually isn't a lens, that lens stays on there, but you can take this, this protector, this lens protector off, and you can put a wide-angled lens on top of here. Now, from my experience, it's not as wide as a 5.0 wide. It's, it's like, kind of normal wide, if that makes sense. Um, I don't actually have the one that goes with it. I've got the fisheye one, and I'll, I'll try to um, show you what it looks like uh, with the fisheye, the wide-angled fisheye on there um, as well. Everything else is pretty standard. It comes with the same battery that the 6.0 uses, so nothing new there, same battery. Um, you need a micro SD. Uh, I've got a U3 in there. I don't know that you need a U3 for this one, but probably a good idea just be faster so you don't want to be any slower than you have to be um, still comes on real fast push of a button I mean you, you barely get the button released and it's coming on and recording got full battery power um, it'll actually be recording before this starts flashing it's that fast um, so you've got different modes um, one thing that they don't do is they don't tell you a whole lot about which which modes are which so um, what I'm going to do is go in the app. I know your green is going to be your basic mode, um, your, your, your best quality video mode. And I think one of these is slow-mo and one of them is zoom. I'm not 100% sure on which one's which. So to um, connect the uh, Solo Extreme to the app, I'm going to hold this down until I see the blue light flashing. I should see that light flashing. Maybe I didn't hold it enough. There it is. So now that light's flashing, I can go in my settings, connect to it on Wi-Fi, and then go to the Tacticam Connect app. All right, so I think the settings on this, after going into the, the app, I think the settings, let me turn the Wi-Fi off. All right, so I think the settings are green mode is what they call Ultra HD, which is which is going to be your just, let me get it back to green. So this is going to be your normal recording, like your, your, your finest quality. And I think the, the blue was zoom mode. And then green, the teal colored one, uh, or cyan, is, uh, is uh, slow motion. So I, realistically though, you can go and you can adjust the zoom in the app. So set your zoom at however you want it. Um, set it at 60 frames a second, full HD or, or HD at 60 frames a second. And you can just use the green. You don't necessarily need to change settings because uh, it's not like you have 120 frames a second as an option. Now, if you had 60 frames for when the, the sun's out and then you wanted to go to 30 frames when it's getting dark so that you're, you can see a little bit more in the light. Uh, then you can have this at 60, switch over to this one at, at 30, or something like that. That might be more realistic, but I, there's not much need to be changing settings on this. Do 60 frames a second, full HD. I would do no zoom. That's what I'm gonna test it at with no zoom um, and, and go shoot with it. It uses the same remote as the 6.0 as well, so there's something to that as well. So I'm going to mount it on this here uh, PSC Levitate. It uses the same stabilizer mount that the 5.0 did, so if you've got that mount already, you're set and ready to, to uh, throw this Solo Extreme on there. Let's see what happens.
All right, so now we just wanna make sure that's loosened. Slide our camera in, make sure it's straight as it can be. Tighten that up. I'm gonna try to keep it towards the front. It could go back further. It could go back further, but I don't want it any further back. I want it fairly close to the front, but protecting the lens. Now let's go shoot some. Going 30 yards at that deer target, oh, over there, at that deer target, 30 yards. We're still at no zoom, uh, HD, 60 frames a second. Um, I'm shooting two different arrows, so if you see a lighted knock on some and not a lighted knock on the other, I, I normally shoot micros, but I don't have lighted knocks for them, so just bear. All right, so while we're at 30 yards, we're gonna do a half zoom. I would never go past half zoom for bow hunting. The only time I would ever zoom it further up would be if I was duck hunting with a shotgun. So we're gonna try half zoom, 30 yards. All right, so first impressions on the Solo Extreme. I've watched a few videos on my phone. The image stabilization is incredible. I mean, for a $200 camera, that image stabilization is incredible. Um, it, it, it looks good, HD. I, I can't tell really a difference. Uh, I'm sure if you wanted to really get specific and zoom in and start cropping stuff, the 6.0 with 4K would, would be better at that. Uh, but just your basic looking at it on your phone, texting it to your buddies. This camera's awesome. I don't see any reason um, not to use this camera. Uh, my understanding was that the old Solos, again, I never owned one, but the old Solos, you couldn't adjust the zoom. Um, you couldn't necessarily adjust the settings. It just kind of came with preset options and you had to use them. Uh, whereas this one gives you the ability to adjust that zoom and go in and and, and change those and get the settings like you like them and still shoot them. And the ability to put a wide angled lens on here is, is really impressive too. So um, you, you got a lot of options out of this $200 camera and it fits in your old mount. So you don't even have to buy a new mount if you had had a solo or had a uh, 5.0 or 4.0. So for bang for your buck, this is a pretty sweet camera. Um, I'll be finding a way to use it this year somehow, some way.